Today we're checking out Transport Fever 2. This is sponsored by Naken. Uh, the console release of Transport Fever 2 this is, and I am contractually obligated to tell you that uh, it's now available for, for PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, and Series S, and X. And you can check it out by clicking on the link in the video description. That is the end of my announcer voice. Uh, but the, also the link will be in chat for Twitch viewers, which it is through the uh, stream elements bot. So yeah, feel free to go click on that. Um, if you are restricted to a console life and longing for a PC, or if you just want to play the PC version with a controller, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, but this is quite a good UI, and I do like it, uh, that is to say. I'm also going to index this VOD with chapters, so if you want to just skip to a certain part, we're going to do a, a number of parts of the campaign here today. It is a big logistics trans transport. It's a logistics game. Uh, I normally do city builders, but I thought that there was enough interesting overlap here that I'm like, hey, why not? Let's go check it out. Uh, but originally, yeah, PC game, uh, just going through my intro points here, available on Steam, again, if you want to check it out, uh, and I, it was on sale the last time I checked last night, but you can play through the ages, 1850 to modern times. I don't want to click on campaign yet, because then I will get the announcer voice guy coming up, uh, but you have quite a lot of decisions here, and there is, uh, for a console port, I, I thought it, it was pretty good. Or, I, you know, I'm playing on the PC version, um, so you do have mods. I don't know how that's going to be handled with consoles exactly. Do your own research. But, um, uh, yes, originally a PC game, that is to say. But you can play through the ages, 1850 to modern times, and, uh, I don't know, kind of gave me, like, Rise of Nations, Age of Empires vibes, albeit with logistics, which is kind of cool and inventive. Big Brain Transport Simulator, uh, but just kind of what I would have wanted when I was into Halo Wars. I used to be restricted to Xbox 360. Um, other things, I, I do think they did a really good job on the controls, and that's coming from the guy who told you how great console RimWorld is. You can thank me later, but I also get massive RSI in my hands from a lot of editing, so... Uh, anyway, it, it does feel quite good to play with controller. But yeah, really high quality tutorials, and I want to get into the action in a second, but yeah, I told you about me and logistics games. Um, and there's also a slight reference to cannibalism just kind of goofily like thrown in there at the last minute well what if we just put this in so uh yeah i don't know i, I think it's worth checking out i've already Mankind spoiled a lot of it but let's listen to the enjoyable announcer get involved <coughs> in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world okay so i don't know what this guy's accent is but it provides a lot of needs for me so i'm going to just keep this throughout the rest of the of the game <laughs> rather than listening to my own voice the whole time You don't think I would do that um, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on twitch alerts really quick for a second in case if anyone subbed I am sorry if I missed it um, I don't think I missed any subs, but if I did please correct me anyway uh, We are going to go through from the very beginning because I think that this game has a very cool like old west horse and carriage stage And I, I particularly enjoy a lot of the um, the animations Ah, America. Like, he sounds as though he's getting carnal pleasure out of talking about the Old West. Hustle and bustle. You have to appreciate a good voiceover, you know? Loads of it. Anyone who Dig it up. Hard enough he, just, he gets, reward. like, such kind of... What a splendid opportunity. Oh, yeah. What should we call the announcer, man? It has like this oddly Americana vibe about it. They did a very good job with Welcome the locales, though. Uncharted and it looks... Mm, it has that je ne sais quoi. It does look very nicely produced. Wanna get rich? Yeah, wanna get rich? Yeah. Way to start the game with an yeah, open-ended question. Just the right place. Just the right... <laughs> Howdy! It has that kind of vibe about Gold it. Brush fever holds sway. Virginia City. Okay, all right. So Gold Rush, I, I like this establishing a plot. You've you lucky devil. Now it won't be like this the entire the entire time. Once we get through some of the tutorial matter. Uh, although I will say, you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a cat's head. Okay, thank you, thank you. That's enough now. I'd like to get started on the game. Thanks uh, to cleverness and luck. Uh, wait a minute. You have a. 
get an overview. Okay, I'm going to just quiet him down for a second. So I did want to go through a lot of the tutorial just because I'm showing off the console stuff. Uh, so I'm doing everything with an Xbox controller in my hands. Keep this in mind. I will not. T I'm contractually obligated not to touch my mouse. Um, oh my gosh, I did the tutorial without even trying. Uh, but we've been doing a couple of these on here, and I do think that it was handled really well. Um, <clears throat> so, I i mean, again, we did... Uh, who is it that... Oh, it was the same people who did Rust who had done the RimWorld console port. It just reminded me of that, because I'm like, these controls are fantastic. They feel very natural. And never did I think that something of an RTS nature would be done this well. This is me coming after about three, three and a half hours of it, so I do like it. few boulders have been mined so far... That's no reason hmm. to lose hope. L and R to zoom Just in and out. To dig deeper. You ought to get okay, to so we need to get a truck stop. So we're going to go ahead and need to... Hang on a second. We're going to go through the very basic granular details here. So I know how to do most of this because I am very smart, obviously. But yeah, the basic idea here is I'm just going to go ahead and speed up time so that we can see the animations in the town. But yeah, pretty much you don't get to build the town. But you're trying to build all the logistics to supply people to go where they need and kind of help this entire region build up. Now, when you play a sandbox game like this, uh, it's just sort of totally open-ended. And I was thinking of trying some big scenario, but I think we would spend a lot of our time just kind of banging our head against the wall. And I thought it's more YouTubeable for a bigger video if we ever decide to do that. But I was just sort of like, ah, oh, this is kind of oddly satisfying in all the little missions. And look at the people's... Wait a second, can I get a close-up of one of their animations? I do really enjoy these. Hang on a second. Okay, I can zoom in on him. And, uh, whoops. No, I zoomed in on the wrong thing. Jack Walker. Ironically, he's not walking, he's riding. He should be more like Jack Ryder. Hey. Wait a second. There we are. Okay, I am following along with Jack Walker. Now, this is a transport game because he's just T-posing intimidatingly with his horse. I particularly enjoy the carriage intimidating T-poses as well as... Here we go. What is your name, sir? I don't know why. I just really enjoyed this. And also the train animation is perhaps my favorite one in the entire game. So I just wanted to not spoil it, but start with that. Um, but yes, they are very fun. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and do the actual logistics here. Because our goal is to take resources in this game from, you know, places where they're had. Like these woodcutting camps and things like that. Um... A lot of lumber, uh, happy lumberjacks live here. Of course they're happy. They aren't being forced to cut down the wood. But then they bring the resources via road, train, ship, or plane um, to all of these cities I over here. Where this there's a content creator that likes oh the my exact gosh. same kind of games that I do. I thought that you were the me tutorial person love your stuff. that really scared and it me. helps me through the work day. Hey, oh, pepper beef day. too spicy. Hey, thank you very much for the $4. I'm happy that it helped you through the work day. Or whatever you found the content for in the first place. But also, I am afraid because I thought you were the in-game announcer for a moment. I forgot how much I fear the dollar, the actual dollar and cent donation TTS voice effect. Okay, so, but let's get underway with the logistics. Generally, there is more processing to be done, but since we are in the small boy tutorial, we'll just go through granularly. I'm probably going to skip a lot of the announcer's things and just narrate them myself, unless if I'm feeling... Like, it is just doing whatever I need it to do for me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to establish a line. We need to go from one stop to the other in order to get the wood into the... Wood. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Did I just totally mislead you? Yep, I misled you. I'm sorry. So, yes, we have the raw resources getting from the forest to the mine to timber supply. Wait a minute. So then did I say that wrong over here? Yes. Yeah, so then this is actually, actually, this is a ranch. I had misspoken there. There are a few things like that that are still going over my head. Um, but yeah, so then this is another one that needs to be supplied with wood. So we have all of the wood coming out of the forest here and we need to get it to the other places. That is to say. Somehow when I'm finding myself narrating things actively, I understand the problem because I did have a couple like, just doofus moments when I was playing on my own before. Vehicle depot, so we're going to go ahead and need to buy uh, a depot in order to supply the the route with the stuff. And I, I particularly enjoy this part because we aren't even onto trucks or anything yet. We're just at, like, horses. Okay, so we have to go over to the depot and then buy a, um, buy a horse. 
Uh, but are we trying to get a carriage or are we trying to get a, a horse cart? Okay, so yeah, there's different things for transporting passengers as well as for transporting... Oh, it just says cart. Um, well, we're trying to do it with wood, right? Hang on a second. We are doing it with wood, right? Yeah, so wood. So we have different passenger. This one is for passengers as... I'm using the mouse here, but I'm still in contract because I'm not actually actively doing anything with the mouse. I would never do that. Um, <laughs> but that's to say, uh, of course I am kidding. But yeah, there. Uh, this one is for wood. Maybe I can do that with the mouse if I just need to point something out on screen. Get started. As a PC gamer, I would never use a controller most of the time, except for right now. Um, okay, so Virginia City Road Depot, we've established line one between these two areas, as designated by... I do like the UI here. It is very attractive. This is... Uh, I'll just borrow from City Skylines, because it's probably the game that you guys know me for. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of overviews that are nice and modern like that, that remind me of that. Okay, uh, I am kind of futzing around right here, though. Vehicle managers. So we're going to try to go ahead and... Well, I'm going to do this the way that I like to do it. Whoops, inspector. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. There we go. Road vehicle one, so I'm going to go ahead and select the road vehicle, and then I'm going to go to actions. Set the line. We could also sell it and just... I, I personally think that this is very good design. Again, it's kind of reminding me of that Rim World thing. And then out come the Hanses, and I'm going to go ahead and speed up time thrice. There we go. By clicking down on the right trigger. That's pretty good, because honestly, the fact that they got the camera view just working so smoothly here, and it's so easy and fun for me... Uh, I particularly enjoy, which is hard to do with a 3D game like this. And it does look good, though. It also occurs to me that I'm playing it on PC, but my PC is from 2019. So I, I think that the visuals have been kept over to console. And now I'm going to use my contractual obligation to remind you to everyone click on the link that is in chat right now. Um, but yes. Do it. There is nothing at stake, but do it anyway. And then we will take the time to look at the driver who is just T-posing intimidatingly to his horses. Which causes them to go, because if you've never tried this, this is how it works. <laughs> uh, he's slightly moving his head from left to right to make it look like he's scanning the road. But he's actually just having an existential crisis, because he's driving a horse and carriage for a living, and he wears a top hat. Of the silver mine for a decent amount. Here we go. I got rid of the silver mine for a decent amount. Yeah, there we are. A lucrative venture. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out announcer man. At Wait, can I totally cancel him out? I like kind of a crotchety old man, like, carrying on in the background behind my narration. Anyway, that is to say that I really do enjoy the narration. And when I was on my own and just lonely and playing it before... Um, in my house uh, yesterday, I, I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if? Uh... Oh, here we go. I could. Just... Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you can actually change the Z level of this. I did not know that. I am bound to discover a few things as we go throughout this. Uh, we're gonna go to settings here, though, and we're gonna lower the length of this. This is very intelligent design. They have a lot of tools that allow you to kind of in a broad stroke do this. But then there's also another precision mode, um, and you can raise the number of tracks. So you can have a larger one. You can get pretty big brain with this, like, Factorio style. However, that being said, um, it's also pretty accessible, I find, this game. Um, let me go ahead and see. I'm going to go back out of that. Like, you can do rotate like that, and you think, oh, I might not really have options, or that doesn't perfectly line up with the road. Um, what was I going to say? If I go into precision mode, precise boy mode right here. Here we go. Wow, very precise of me. Though it does snap, too. Might be able to turn that off. A few very twisted curves. Ah, yes! I love putting the lines over terrain to neaten them up. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and try to take the wood boy from here to here to here. And then we'll put it on the train, and then we'll take it around the dangerous area. Uh, and then we will bring it to Carson City. Hmm. How excited for City Skylines, too, am I? I am very excited, boy. Yeah, we've, we've come into an era of really, like, high-quality simulation games. Um, have I played the PC version? I didn't play the PC version before this, but I've always wanted to get more into, like, the, kind of the old-school, like, logistics types of games. And honestly, there's just... Gaming has gotten so good that there's practically no time to do everything. 
but they did. They approached me, and now I'm like looking at it. And I'm thinking of what can I try for the main channel? I know RT Game had done a train with like 46 cars on it. It's just like, ooh, that looks really interesting. So it was getting me, it was getting my brain running on it. Generally, that's how I kind of look for games to do on the channel. Okay, so we have to establish a new line. Line boy, here we are. New line. I feel as though this type of process could get very out of hand very fast. A respectable railroad calls Train Depot in the railroad highlighted yard. boy area. Okay, so again, kind of like, do you guys remember when we played Street Sweet Transit a few months ago? Sweet Transit was also very good. Um, kind of like this combined with Factorio, and it was making me think of that because this game, you can have one track and trains go back and forth because in Sweet Transit, um, I love that game. Although the only real complaint that I heard about it from some people was that like, oh, where is the, what is it for? Which I think some people get with transport games. And I do get that. Or like logistics. Um, so for me, a lot of that is being supplied by the campaign and stuff. But I'm kind of looking more for, though I suppose that's like what logistics is about anyway. Um, or maybe I just don't understand. Connect the depot to the existing tracks. But yes, it is part of a long list of games, including Euro Truck Simulator, where I wanted to just play them, and then we will kind of vibe together. I think I know a lot of people who like to just drink a lot of beer and play these games. Again, kind of like, well, I guess Sweet Transit came out after this game, so but I'm just going to compare things to it, because that was sort of one of the first logistics games that I had played. Um, but yeah, again, so, uh, hang on a second. Whoops, yeah, we're in the inspector. Okay, buy vehicles. So again, we can kind of create the whole train here. So what did it ask us to do? We wanted to create a train with locomotive and three freight cars. I would say, I know that I'm not really explaining all of the menus here, but I got a hang of these control. Wait a second, what did it say, three? Three freight cars? Yes, three freight cars. These are very easy controls to get a hang of. They've simplified a well, like, without oversimplifying, they've made it extremely accessible. So that is why I do like them. That is... That is authentic. I... Although I am being endorsed to say it. I do actually like them. Though, again, take that with a grain of salt, you know. Um, no, but I, I, would, I wouldn't lie to you about that. Allocate the train to the line. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the train on the line. Let's go ahead here. Set line. Line two. There we go. Just look at how convenient that was. Oh my gosh. So much serotonin just came out of my hypothalamus or some other part of the brain. I don't really know which one. Um, wait, wait until the train is delivered the silver or... Okay, so now we get to stall awkwardly. But just look at the beautiful lush environs. You know? A stump. Dead. The American dream is like a dead stump with another tree coming out of it in 2023. Oh my gosh. Just the amount of physical pleasure I am experiencing at seeing the chewing and the chewing of the train is, yes, is done. sublime. First train is rolling down the line. I didn't take any conscience-altering substances before the stream also. Don't pass up the chance to Wait a second, and then the game gives me these quirky way. side quests. Uh, people are dropping everything to cheer you, man. Don't pass out the chance to climb aboard. Oh, yeah. The chewing and the a chewing. Round of applause. Hang on a second. I have to go ahead and select the train. Well, I don't have to. I choose to. I, I particularly... In There's no end to the rejoicing. All thanks to you. I enjoy the engineer. Man, he does... He does not look healthy. It's kind of like tribal war paint, this guy. I know it's not tribal war paint, but it's it's much less healthy. Anyway, we'll, we'll slow down time. This is the normal time. Normal boy time. But yeah, he's got some uh, crap in the train. Is that really silver? Just a dude with a lot of silver in a train? Oh my god. There's so much money to be made back then. People just digging up silver out of the earth. Oh god. Find out about the need like a lot of it, it was just passengers. available. Imagine if they just discovered a whole new continent. You know. Good morning, Ed. I just want to say I enjoy the content. And moved to Washington by myself, and you've been a big help in keeping... Ah, I can relate to that, Soyuz Ma Maximus. I moved to uh, Florida on my own. I hope you meet some people. Yeah, get out. 
I don't know. My recommendation is join a, uh, I don't know, join a sport group Reserves in the area. That's a good way to meet people. To the same degree everywhere in town. Like community sports with other adults. Doesn't matter if, if you're in good shape, just join a sport or something like that. Everything's up to date in Carson City. Build a bus stop in each of the highlight. Okay, so we need to get people, um, why do, or do we make money for just people transporting around town? Well, anyway, pre-bus time, before the bus existed, there were haunts, and there are some of them right now. Ambi Sneak. Ambi Sneak. Dead Burr also, thank you very much for the sub. I'm sorry I missed that, Dead Burr. And Opfazonk, thank you very much for the eight months. I do, I also happen to appreciate, I do really appreciate sure that. Eight months is a long time. Thank stops. you very much, Opfazonk. I do appreciate your support. Link the stops in Carson City to a line. Um, like I said, I think that the tutorials are good. Like, I, I, I found them laughably good here. I wanted to do it just to kind of give an overview of the game. Although in some of the later ones, I did get slightly confused in a place here or there. But again, I am a bit of a smooth brain. Uh, so I hopefully will figure out some of those with Twitch chat here because you are quite amazing. Okay, so we have Meadow Street. I don't No, You could just have one stop and that's it. Hmm. Interesting. I am an interest of this. Build a depot where the horses can be hitched up. What do they call that? Doge speak? Why do I do that all the time? Ever since I got, got really drunk a few years ago with my cousins, I've just, I can't get out of doge speak. Um, a depot for road vehicles in Carson City. Okay, here we go. So we need to put the actual vehicles. Now before, in the land before vehicles, when old AA was a boy, um, oh, wait, what did it say? Road depot? Depot for road vehicles. Yeah, there are a couple things where I think they, w uh, they might benefit from just putting the exact term of the thing into the tutorial. I think they mostly did that, but there might have been a place here or there where it wasn't there, and I was confusion. But again, this tutorial is quite good, and I got right into the action. I struggled zero to get into this, and to create a whole game like this, I only There's cried for 20 minutes. So that you can get started. It is not a natural thing to do console UI for a game that's originally a PC game, that is to say. In my opinion, I opined that. Now we're going to do three horse-drawn carriages. Ding, ding, ding. There we are. Good. Uh, which is obviously the sound that a carriage makes when it's happy. Let's go ahead and set the line of these to line three. What happened to line two? Oh, wait, that was the train. Never mind. Transport five passengers within Carson City. So can we slow down? So here go the T-posing men. And woman. Making their way down the street. A beast is up to no good in the area. Wait a minute. According to eyewitness, the reporter and certain find the next clue. Has revealed his source to you. The reporter. The this is just a random quest in the middle Lawrence. of everything. He's supposed to be in the saloon in Virginia City. <laughs> I'm gonna just go through with this entire quest because I didn't. Shots of hard liquor before he comes up with the truth. I don't really know. Wait, Virginia City. Oh, there he is. So I need to go to the massive, massive question mark. I, I don't know why they put in these into the game, but I like them. They're like oddly endearing. Kind of remind me of Good gaming as it was when I was a kid. Information. The monster got a few feet taller with each whiskey you bought him. Oh, I... Word has it that it gobbles up whole cows. Wait, what? What were we doing with this man? Out of its teeth with a wagon tongue. Our informer thinks it's hanging Wait, is the monster the an, a metaphor? Right. Okay, sorry, this is not about transportation. This is just a random quest. There was another one where I had to click on every sheep in the map. I just want to see what happens when I get to the end of one. So I'm going to the Ponderosa oh, Clanch by ranch by clicking on it. To your visit to where not too long ago I was nothing more than a dreary two-bit town. A magnificent little city now flourishes. Passenger Thanks business. Wait a minute, so now we're off the wait, what I want to know about the cart right. Call it the miracle of Carson City. Okay, so I've transported to stuff to Carson City. Wait, so he's at the lake. This has like an oddly Red Dead Redemption feel about it. Your tickets I'm getting distracted though. Make sure that the rest of the world is okay. finally connected All right. to Carson City. Reno, there. Virginia City, and Carson City, we're trying to connect. So that's the main goal of the game, but yes, there are quirky side quests on the well, on the side. I'll do those when we're waiting for the vehicle to come into a station, so it does kind of keep the action flowing because there I'll go ahead and say one thing that uh 
Well, maybe this is because I'm kind of a smooth brain. There is a little bit of waiting at times in this game, but it usually feels like you're just doing the logistics wrong and you, you're being kind of a smooth brain, which I am kind of a smooth brain. Um, so there is that. But hang on a second. Are we trying to do passengers? Okay, yeah. So we're trying to do passengers. Reno to Carson City. Um, and again, I think everything is pretty clear here. Um, fun fact, a horse, horse can have up to 15 horsepower. <laughs> that is quite funny. Oh my god. My horse has like, like six, 65 horsepower. Like 68 or 70, but never the number in between. So I guess that when the whole village is highlighted in white, that means that it's Connection Boy, right? Here we are. Yum. Wow, long boy. Am I allowed to do that? No, I'm not allowed. Okay, because I went slightly out of the blue line. All right, I'll, I'll. Here we are. How much money is this? I do enjoy the kind of sense of. Oh, we're at negative five hundred seventeen thousand dollars in uh, value. Whoops, Daisy. Let's just spend more. We spent another seventy-five thousand. People from all over the world. Now that number does kind of update throughout the ages, so in the future things will Love be more you expensive. You've made my morning with this stream. Ah. Keep it up, one smooth brain to another. Hey, thank you, Dead Burr. I do, I do appreciate that. That is very, very generous of you, Dead Burr. I do hope you've enjoyed the content or whatever it is you've you've been doing. You've been doing. Thank you very much, though. Hmm. Like, like Bill Burr. Maybe now just the name Burr has always been affiliated with Bill for me. I apologize if your last name is Burr or something like that. Um, and now everyone just thinks that you're Bill Burr. Uh, new depot near the... <laughs> I just perpetuated that. I am sorry. Uh, new depot near the line and connected with three three passenger carriages there. So we're just... We're going to go ahead and just do more than that and see what happens because... Like, why not? You know, why not just start there? Man, this music is so filled with, like, gaiety and merriment. It is a jolly soundtrack, and I'm glad that I turned it on. Okay, here we go. Carson Train Depot, and again, you know, the trains, they go back and forth. I'm not sure if there's a way to make the game, like, hardcore boy like that. Let's just make it, like, let's just put on, like, 50 or 60 of these things. 16 million dollars. Yep. Just buy them, because I'm pretty sure there's no lower value to the money. And if not, then we'll just go to the next step of the tutorial. Okay, so we made the world's most ridiculously long train, because why not start there? And then we'll go to vehicle manager with the 41 passenger trains in the caboose. <laughs> should be interesting. Oh, no, I don't want to know about the Ponderosa Ranch right now. No, I wouldn't want to cross paths with the Ponderosa's cart rights. Uh, sorry, I have, ever since Fallout New Vegas, I have a desire to get a big iron and, like, patrol the Old West, you know? That is my fantasy. Will it ever be? Who knows? But anyway, the local color here is just, eh, it does, it has that je ne sais quoi. Uh, let's go ahead back to our vehicle manager. So this is pretty easy to navigate. I'll just go ahead and say, it, it does get a bit repetitive here, um, but it's very easy to master. Uh, the basics. Uh, although there are a lot of things I'm not making use of, and there's a lot of other... Can I get into finances and stuff like that? Yeah, so there is a lot of big brain graph having to be done here, and it is a true uh, economic logistics sim. So I haven't really gone over this, but yeah, your two main things are your line manager, which we've already seen. Can we just get a picture of all our lines lined up? Oh my gosh, the lines are lined up. And also, um, there's different cities to go to, but also the vehicle manager, which we do have... Um, where is our train? Yeah, so there's our train boy, as highlighted by the white icon right there. Um, I, I just think that it's very well-designed UI. I'm pretty sure they've kept all that over from the PC with these console menus, but... Yeah, um, road, rail, uh, and then I also want to show you the ships, but we'll get to those a little bit later on in the stream. Um, uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, uh, road vehicle one, road vehicle one, train one. Where is the absurd train? There is the absurd train. Let's, so let's just figure out if this works. I want, I desperately want to know if this will happen. Okay, look at the depot. Yes! There it comes. It's going to have 41 cars on it. It's really struggling to get out, although there's no limit here for some reason. 
Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, this is RT game Dan came up with this idea. I was just brainstorming for funny ideas, and I'm like, oh god, Dan, why did you do that? <laughs> oh, look at it, look at it go, look at the train. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it'll fit in the line. I don't know in which, I mean, this is pretty much the last mission in this tutorial, in which case we just find out what happens. It's like the human centipede. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a war crime. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think you can do these with the planes. Uh, can you do it with the carriages? I'm not sure. Let's just find out what happens. There are some freight trains that are this long, though. I mean, I used to ride trains to... Well, I would ride passenger trains. I did, um, I did this a lot in, uh, back when I w was in New York. I live... I, there's so many trains in New York. Uh, there's the Long Island Railroad. I do somewhat have a passion for this. Um, Long Island Railroad, uh, New Jersey Transit, and... What is it? Metro North? But, um... Okay, yes, so it does actually fit. It would have been worse if it hadn't. Look at that. It's not really making it slower either. I'm pretty sure it goes at the... It probably is making it much slower, but, I mean, it was worth it, wasn't it? Uh, but, yeah, you don't really see freight trains out there. The one time I did see them, though, I, I took an Amtrak with my dad to uh, Chicago. Um, he's really into trains, so... Um, He's really into traffic and transit in general. And look, it just conveniently turns around. And are there passengers in the train? Now, this is my other favorite part I'm about to show you of this game. Uh, I can zoom in on the train. So we have this one poor man. Although this is indeed a passenger train, but yeah, it was a freight train. So now we're going to have to go through 41 cars of just Resident Evil-inspired horror in order to find... The passengers, because the passenger animations are some of my favorite in the game. Nope, not in car six, not in car seven. Not in car Here's one right here. And I love the way that she is just, I guess they're meant to have other passengers near them because trains aren't meant to be this long, but man, it looks like she has the, the smallest wrists I've ever seen this woman. Is she comfortable? She's having a conversation with someone, but she keeps readjusting herself. Let's keep going through the cars. There's another man over there, a woman, and she's doing exactly the same things. I particularly enjoyed it when there were multiple people in the same car, just sort of kind of being confused. But I think it was, again, worth it for this many cars. Let's see how many other passengers we got. There's another lady. Didn't we get a, a dapper gentleman with a hat? Sure, I might have to preemptively do some of the next tutorials because by making this train 40 cars long. Oh, here we are. A rare car with multiple people on it. With <laughs> two men who are just doing this. Uh, you see, sir. Uh, no, I'm a mayor. If I may interject. I don't know what it is. I just have so many mash. The inner machinations of their minds are an enigma, in the words of Patrick Starr. But yeah, there we are. Pullman Wagon, what a, what a name for a wagon. Wow. The train has taken just so long to get there because of my amazing mistake. To get how many people there? Four. I'm not sure. I had a, gr I had a great time. Uh, let's see how they do th at this, and then I'll probably just leave this tutorial and go on to the next one because I wanted to see if that would be possible, which it clearly is. $52,000 to get there. Those people play paid a lot for that train. Okay, I'm going to briefly have a, a short recess right here. Eight out of 574 passengers. We're doing great. We didn't waste any fuel at all. We're only two and a half million dollars in the red from literally transporting wood from a forest to a city and then going, maybe some people want to come to Carson City. But there you have it. I do want to see these bonus quests end, though, because I, I want to see what kind of quirky the things are enterprise here. Reports. The wild man is dead. His body was committed to the waters man of Lake Tahoe, dead. where it will sink to a depth of over 600 feet, be encased motionless in a block of ice, and shrink to the size of a small... Is that a, it for... So there was a dead man we were searching for. There was a, a drunkard in the saloon. 
I, I do like these kind of quirky side quests, though I, I do feel like It'd be interesting if they somehow connected to the main story, because that one was just sort of like click on things. But let's keep going on because there are more in the next scenario which actually do that, so I will go there, and that is where the quirky reference to cannibalism comes up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I, I think we've pretty much done everything. I don't want to wait for the forty one car mega train, which takes an extra moment to render in, if you can see that. <laughs> Look at it go, it's rendering. Uh uh, I just love simulation games. Anyway, I'm going to go back out to the menu just so that we don't have to wait for that one. Uh, there we go. In the north of Britain, in the midst of the Victorian Okay, so uh, we had monstrous beasts. Oh, we didn't century. actually finish the Ponderosa the Branch. Mankind is Again, I've only gotten a little ways through, so there is quite an there is quite an extensive campaign here. I would assume it's at least 20 to 40 hours, because probably the later missions are, are longer. But again, I've mankind gotten through about three here at Java. the beginning. Although I do like the the earlier parts. I got stuck on one thing, which is where I just said, I get it. I think I'd like to stream it now. The year is 1870. And the colony is a fine day to you. Uh, my, hey, my conception. How are you doing? Been allowed to lease farm Wait a minute. How are you doing? Manage plantations. The fertile land offers ideal conditions for exporting a multitude uh -huh. of colonial goods. I don't know, so what are your guys' thoughts overall on the game so far? Anyone have any, like, a thesis statement or anything like that? And I'll critique it as we go through the game. I think that the visuals are beautiful here. Dutch East Indies. I guess the one thing that I always kind of look for uh, in simulation games is, like, um... Like, what drives the gameplay, you know what I mean? Um, and sometimes that's just my brain. Because this is quite a popular game, and I will say that. But... I don't know. Some of it is like lost on me you until I find something YouTubeable, and then I find a very fun, to modernize the local like grain to go off of. You know what I mean? Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, Complete I got a text. This task to the satisfaction of the crown. Rip Indonesia. <laughs> Even the post as governor might be. Uh, the free play of transport fever too. It is a good deal. Transport is a much sought after service. 500 hours in free play, making it more accessible is only a good thing. Oh, heck yeah. Is punishable by law. I wouldn't have known that. That's why the I didn't know what was coming. Has commissioned you to build a railroad so that the plantation business Eating draft animals such as auction is possible. Coffee is supposed to be transported from the first. Anyone set on building wisely okay. and cheaply. All right. Okay, I'm getting a little bit sick of your narration now. Hang on a second. It's unnecessary slopes. Perform the necessary surveying work. Okay, well, let him finish. Finish off your things you were going to say. I do I do like the narrator. Um, generally, I don't like having a narrator in the background when I'm trying to, well, narrate. Um, because it can make it more uh, confusion. However, that being said, I just like this one so much. And I, I also just felt alone when I was playing it. So I was like, oh... Okay, and I mean, for a logistics game, you do kind of need somebody holding your hand there. So whoever did this did a very good voiceover, and I would like him to read me bedtime stories in the most uh, Build a route from childish way possible. Um, here we are. It's been 33 months, and the, the narrator is still blabbing. Recommend skipping at times. Mm, thank you. Hey, one awesome dog. Thank you very much for the 33 months. Yeah, generally doing that. But, um, I don't want to miss the reference to cannibalism. I don't want to miss the reference to cannibalism, and I kind of like him being like a crotchety old man behind me, so, but I'll allow it. But anyway, so here we come to the next level of complexity. Before we were transporting wood to a place to get wood to a thing, but now we have to take these, um, what are these? I don't even really know what these are. Subaraya Export Factory. Surabaya. Is that like a plant? Anyway, the plant is used to create coffee from red alien plants. And then once we have the coffee, then we have to bring it to the people because the people have no energy. And they also want, I believe that this is, sh is this sugar cane? Or there is something, wait a second, what is this? Yeah, sugar cane plantation. So the people want coffee and then they want sugar for their coffee here in this colony. And again, very different locale, very different setting here. But yeah, so we sort of have another one of these problems where we need to link everything up logistically. Um, and the open world kind of gives you a lot of stuff like this. So this is more getting into the main game, although we usually have more inputs here, but that is that is what is happening here. So let's go ahead and do, I don't know why it had me doing a 
Modular change. Yeah, I want to do these as terminus stations because this worked far better than trying to do it the other way. Uh, you can have like midway stations so that the train could just keep going after it has stopped, uh, which is a terrifying thought indeed. However, I hope that that senses it because it's there. I noticed pretty much no issues like that though when I was trying this. Here we go. A depot is needed. Depot in the highlighted area. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna need to go ahead and build the train again. But yeah, again, they're kind of like gradually holding our hand less and less until it just becomes open-ended problems. A little bit puzzly in that sense. Um, so kind of like got a puzzly campaign linked with your simulation train, game. Including locomotive and freight Four cars. freight cars which can transport coffee fruit. Okay, so again, we have to do this. Um, uh, add that and then gondola. Uh, we need to be transporting the fruits. So we're gonna go put in four of those. Should we just do more anyway? No, that is going to slow down the train. I'm not going to make such ridiculously long trains anymore because I am a good person. Make a new line. Boop. Boop. Okay, so if we tell them to go to the train station, they will pick up the cargo that's like adjacent to it. At times, this can be slightly confusing when you're going, like, sea to land. That was the only thing that I got stuck on in the tutorial, although it seems very straightforward here. So, I mean, I think very good. But yeah, that is what is happening here. I don't actually need to link the train station to the good, except under, like, certain instances, which will come up in the next tutorial. Uh, but yeah, that is happening, and I may need your help. So, Twitch chat, I, I wouldn't have streamed this for nothing. I... I do need your help. I do struggle immensely at times. Okay, so here we go. We're going to speed up time again because we have that power with our time machine. If I were to speed run a game, which one would I choose? Pong. I don't know. Why, did, why are people playing games so fast? I'm going to play a game slower than everyone. I played Pokemon as slower as... As slower as possible. And I savored every ratata. I caught hundreds, thousands of ratata. And I never even played the first gym. I just enjoyed it Pidgey and ratata for days. I don't know, isn't it like a thing that people speedrun Pokemon? Isn't that what the cool kids? There's just no one on this train. Oh no, I take that back. There is just the same man from before. This man isn't going to do too well in this climate. He's going to get very sunburned. I know. He should have on a big, like a big weenie hat. You know, weenie hut juniors. Um, so we've got the boxes just, actually, I don't, actually? I'm trying to tell what's being visualized here. Okay, so then this is interesting. So we want to get the flow going right. You know, now that I articulate a little bit more of this on Twitch and I'm picking up on some more of the details, um, maybe I'm getting this a little bit better. Now, one thing that I, I think would be nice, we do have a lot of kind of like what you see is what you get visualization here. Although we don't really s Do we see... Where do we see the production? Ship produce. So you can see that the flow is going. So we are producing slightly more than we are shipping over time. We'll see how this evens out as we go. But yeah, we're stacking boxes. I mean, that's good. We want to be producing a little more, but we are eventually going to get a surplus here. Provides the local plantation leaseholders with truly valuable services. Still fresh from the fields, the fruit quickly reaches the factory. From there, the hmm. colonies delight Local labors. No, wait, no. Too, uh, easy. To uh, 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 quiet down again. Truck station in the highlighted area. So the commercial part of it. Okay. Thank you, announcer town. man. I'm just going to slightly... I Actually, that was a good idea. I will slightly lower him. Only because he has been inter he's been interrupting. Mankind is constantly creating oh, that's oh, that's very good game design that they kind of said. I want you quiet, boy. There we go. You know what he sounds like. You know that he's a Scottish man. He's not Scottish. He he's not even vaguely, but he has a Scottish energy about his accent. You know what I mean? Like I want he he's coming down to me from the Highlands in a kilt. So what do we need to do? We need to do a truck station. I do find this a little confusion because... I mean, it's not trucks, it's... Well, that kind of makes me think, though. Did they call them trucks way back in the day? 
because they are horses and carriages. They they are. Truck station boy. Uh, although are we just unloading? Hang on a second. Do we need to build the truck station? Now normally I think I could just do an unloading stop, but I I think the tutorial is contractually obligating me to um build the truck state build the truck station here. So I'm going to do it because I'm a nice boy and I follow the rules. Um, here we go. Establish a route between the new stops and allocate at least four appropriate vehicles to the route. Okay, there we go. That is very good. He he can just have his spiel there in the background. Okay, so this is going to be a connection boy to there. There we are. Subaraya station. So there we are. Ah, nice red route. Very clear, very snappy. Uh, but now we need to go ahead and again um, build the vehicles. So do we have... We don't have one of these things pre-built for us here. So, um, yeah, so now again, it isn't even going to tell us that we need to build the depot. That's just kind of given. Tram depot, road depot. So we are going to build this. Neum. Let's have it come in at a curve. Like, so that when the vehicles go in, they can go. Neum. There we are. Uh, let's go buy vehicles. Uh, this is a confusion right here. So we're going to go ahead and just say, wh what exact vehicles do we need? For appropriate vehicles. Okay, so now it's not even telling us what vehicles we need, but we are, it is it is taking off the training wheels. Oh my gosh. So we need to go ahead and build a uh, European horse covered carriage. Capacity five, capacity four. I'm pretty sure we just have unlimited money for these things. Oh, these have lifespans too. Oh wow, 1870. They even have dates that they're built in. I think you can play through the ages and unlock stuff too. So if you wanted to do like Rise of Nations, that would be kind of a cool thing. And we're just gonna buy like 50 of them because why not? Because that would be interesting to look at, right? All right, let's just put all of them on. I haven't done this yet and it should be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna get a million vehicles everywhere. Put them all online too, and then watch them all come out. Oh, thank you for letting us leave. There have just been so many of us in there. Oh, this is such a waste of money. Okay, so yes, Luke is the capable engineer on your locomotive. Seems to have vanished the face of the earth or any. Yeah, so he was presumably cannibalized. Look at this. Why did we do this? We don't even have enough goods. <laughs> like. Must be what it's like when you hire just too many employees. You know how there's so many open jobs in America? They just raise the wage. Probably in the world, for that matter. I pay attention more to our own country's news, but it's probably a worldwide thing right now. Just a lot of people picking up nothing, like a Teamsters union, where just no one picks anything up. Uh... Okay, I think we get the narrator now. Actually, that was not a bad idea. I liked him before, but I'm just going to turn him off. You can you can enjoy that for yourselves from now on. But I, I made my point. Okay, so now I just have stupid numbers of vehicles here. Okay, so there is some big brain to be had here, but I think that they kind of hold your hand in a nice way. And we're going to go ahead and put these tracks here. And there are, yes, there is signaling. Ooh, signals! Oh my gosh, wow. We need a blue zone and a green zone. So they do kind of hold your hand here, although, 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 I think I figured this out the last time. I need them going opposite directions. Um, so can it even be built here? So yeah, I'm going to have this one face this way, which means that I need to have the other one face the other way, I think. Otherwise, I don't think it'll function properly, but... I'm not an expert in that. This is a very simple signaling path. Okay, so the main idea here, we have one train, so it's just gonna always go on the signals. Uh, where Where is our train depot? Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and build another one, and this is going to allow us to have them pass one another. Trains can't go through in each other in this game. Yes, they are able to just turn around spontaneously, which I think make, keeps it from being nauseatingly overcomplicated, and just makes it more fun. I'm not sure if you can turn that off again, though. I should check that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do more. One, two, three, four, and then we'll buy that. Okay, here we go. Train two. Actions set on a line. There we go. Okay, so now it comes out. Come out, train boy. Please pay no attention to the fact that I'm missing one million dollars. 
And again, if you guys, now we're up to 659 people in the stream. So, if you are interested, please go ahead and click on my link. If you guys are interested in the game, or if you are interested in the console version of the game, or you were interested in the PC version of the game, but then you said, oh, the fact that I couldn't play it with controller before prevented me from getting interested in it. And now you want to check it out. And oh my gosh, look, the signals are working like the signals are supposed to. Wow. And they go, oh, I'm actually not going to slam head first into your train. There we go. All right, so, I, I mean, honestly, I think that it's about savoring. Are we con collecting the required amount of stuff that we need to? Hmm. Sounds like the railroad. No, we're just going to do passengers. Passengers here. Even less hand-holding is being done, and the tutorial is gradually dropping us out of the nest like a huge bird mom. So we're going to go ahead and take the passenger terminus station right here and just zoom out. There we are. I like a, like a small bird. Oh my gosh, look, the town is expanding on itself. Wow, it's like a child. That is incredible. Children, did you know that children expand on their own? They grow. I don't know if you've ever seen it happening, but if you were to like put a camera on a young person and then watch them grow, in real time they grow. Um, this happens for all people. Hmm. Fun fact, everyone here was once the youngest person in the world. Isn't that amazing? It's like we're all just Guinness world record holders for being the youngest person ever. We're also, we're also accomplished. We have another passenger station to be had here. Okay, let's go ahead and put in some tracks. Sorry, I'm done making stupid observations for the next five minutes. The children are cultivating mass. <laughs> yes, one month. I like how you brought the word cultivate into it. Uh, the Tesher, thank you very much for the prime. Do appreciate that. And Dorgenick, uh, thank you very much for the prime. Appreciate that. Mysterious documents. Uh, now, how do we build this headquarters? Let me locate. I'm told that we need to do this, but I couldn't find this in the menu before. Tools? Where is the? I don't actually know where this headquarters is. If I can find it really fast, I'll do it. But if it takes me a long time, I'll just skip on it. Passenger station, path signal, waypoint, waypoint. Paint tools, assets, no. I mean, there is more, like, environmental shaping here. I honestly can't figure out... Oh, there it is. Maybe it's there under finances? Oh, headquarters. Hmm, assets, liquidity. Oh, build headquarters. Welcome to the headquarter. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of when... Oh, my gosh. When I was in college, I had a roommate who, uh, like, he was an exchange student, and so he was, uh, he was, like, he was bilingual and he was learning English, but we were at a party once, and he said, would you pass me a core? Like, for a core's light? <laughs> so that's always stuck with me. A headquarter. Yeah, this is, this is a headquarter. Maybe there is a core in there. Find the wise elder and sp Okay, and now I'm going to leave these side quests. I, so what is this actually doing for us? Actually, what is this doing? We have all this real estate. Where is... Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just admit my own ignorance here. I don't really know how all of this works, but I mean, this is a hardcore economics logistics simulator. As, as, as a gamer, as an economics major, I believe that the microeconomics... I don't know what I'm going to say. I did major in economics, but I won't... I won't go all five head quantitative easing on you here for a moment. Um, I clearly didn't learn enough because I am a YouTuber now. Transport at least 25 people between um, Seberaya and... There we go. So let's go ahead and build another thing. I'm a streamer. Hello. Today we're going to be prime subbing to Ah for his amazing content. I like how TTS still doesn't get that my name is AA. Ah. Uh, I am Ah. The great streamer. Ah, uh, fear me. Fear me in despair. Despair. Sorry, I got a little caught up in my own power level. Right there. I just opened up the ninth inner gate. Skater Dude 619. Thank you very much for the two months. Successor to Skater Dude 618. It's okay, I had one of those names too once. I is your like is that your birthday, 619? 
that would be a normal reason. If it's just a random number that you provided, then that's what I did. Unable to find... Oops, uh, sorry, hang on a second. Actions, set line, new... Oh, we can create a new line. So there's multiple ways of doing the same thing. Oh my gosh, wow. That's so creative of them. It is good design, though, I think. Hmm. Yes, the great wizard. I am a wizard, Harry. Physics. <laughs> the physics. <laughs> they just have to boop the train snoot. For some reason, I've just had an obsession over the last month or so with saying that I'm going to boop someone's snoot. It is growing annoying and problematic, and I need to find new words. But it, it comes up at the most enjoyable intervals, and I'm doing it less and less frequently now, so I, I do apologize for that. But if you've come over the last few VODs, you probably hear me talking a lot about the booping of snoots. Let's just go ahead and create... Now, uh, they would... Actually, the trains would get stopped if we did this. Actually, the trains would stop? Gentle... Yes, it's just a gentle train boop. See, it just gently boops. Like, basically, the conductor comes out through here, and he runs through the tunnel, which is why they need to create this much momentum, and then he just boops the train, and then it turns around. And that's... That's... Uh... That's mechanical engineering, How that's how that subject works. Which other subjects is everyone studying in school? I majored in the subject of uh, literature, and uh, I have not used it since. Ironically, from college, probably the one class that I used would be the one that I didn't think would come in handy at all, which was writing. I had one very good writing teacher in college, which I like. Now I'm, I'm tooting my own horn a lot. I'm tooting my horn. Uh, find the snake charmer in summer rank. Okay, so this is not. Ding dong, snake charmer. Sss. Snake charmer, declare that you're probably angered by the mighty snake goddess with your projects. The snake priestess of Mount Merapi is the only one who could. Okay, so let's find the temple. Find the temple. There is a mountain that's going to explode full of cannibals, apparently, in this region. Oh, yeah, look, that looks very. That does indeed look cannibalistic. If I had to draw a picture of cannibalism, it would be one of these ziggurat like. It's not a ziggurat. I don't know. That's the only word I remembered from third grade social studies. I'm following the clue to the other one. And then I find the other uh, question marks. Okay, there happen to be a lot of these. Priestess has spoken. The only way she was willing to call off her children is if you make a great sacrifice to this great big snake. Coffee, the priestess prophesied. Ah, oh, that is a real word. Prophesied. Yes. Actually, that's a word. Would be the th sure thing to- I love how our carts are just still there making deliveries to no one. <laughs> uh, the snake goddess. You know what? Let's do it. Let's send some of those millions of carts over that way. Okay, guys, we finally have a reason to own 45 carts. I've decided. <laughs> I've decided it is time for us to build a street. And now we can- Go off of the tutorial. Hang on a moment. Yeah. Let's just make this road. This road. This road too large. Wouldn't it anger the snake goddess if we just built a road there? Look at this. This is so excessive. All it is is to deliver some coffee beans. We could have just walked there. There are horses, man. I mean, horses. I don't know what a horse is. I've never heard of one of those. Um, let's go ahead and do a new line. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to do something new in the game. I'm going to see if this is easy. I don't know how to do this operation, but this is a side mission. Uh, oh, I need to do another truck stop. Sorry. Yeah, there are little things like that that go over my head for a second. Like, oh, I forgot that I had to do a truck station because I can't just deliver them directly to the temple. But I do need some sort of a logistical end point, I suppose. I am a crazy person, that is to say. Uh, can we add... Okay, so we can add another station to edit what was already there. And there we go. Nice, nice boy. Um, Suba, Surabaya transfer. And then let's go ahead and see if we can reassign some of these vehicles. Okay, so obviously we don't need like 40 or 50 of these on this. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can reassign those to line 4. Oh my gosh, and Bob's your uncle. Bob is your weird uncle. Uh, I don't have an Uncle Bob. 
but my father's name is is Bob, so my cousins do. Anyway, sorry, my ADHD is kicking in. Um, uh, the transporting people. Here we go. Transport at least 25 people between Surabaya and Samarang. Um, did we do that? Oh, that is kind of gradually happening for us. So that is the reason why we are doing the Cannibal Snake Lady quest on the side. Yeah, uh, like I said, there is some waiting here. We are in three times speed. I do wish, uh, admittedly, I do wish three times speed were just a little bit faster because this feels a little bit more like two times speed or one times speed. And sometimes getting things to kind of like go at that pace, especially in a game that's about this. If you find yourself not savoring it at every moment, which I was savoring it before until you guys had me turn off the announcer voice because I like his voice. I'm turning it back on. No, I'm not going to turn it back on. It was annoying my narration a little bit. I couldn't get in the moment. History major and tried teaching, but I wasn't for me. I coach. I do coach for esports, though. That is such an interesting career path. Hey, Jabo, how are you? Instead of game dev and TV production, uh, that, yeah, that does come in, in handy. Ah, uh, yes, bring the Hanses. Isn't this, I, I, though maybe it's because we're in the, like, pre-industrial era? Are we in the, I guess we're getting into the early industrial era here. Uh, wait a minute. No, yeah, this is solidly in the industrial era. What are we? The year is 1871, so we're well into it. We are just in sort of a, um, if, um, like an undeveloped area in the world. Which is why we happen not to have factories everywhere. But look at the buildings. Very nice. Modernized. Probably have carpeting and insulation. Things like that. Very nice. Um... I believe that there is one or two more parts to this tutorial, so I'm just going to go ahead and wait while I say some stuff. I can speed in debug mode. I can increase the speed up to 32 times, so I could do that. I wonder if I can do that in consoles. Um, let me just have a really quick look at something. I wasn't sure because all of this is very console -y UI that I'm using right here. However, that being said, um, what is it? Sorry, I'm on a very weird monitor setup right here. I'm playing on a 4K monitor because my because my monitor is mired in wealth and pixels. Um, although playing on a 4K monitor has some issues too, because I never play in 4K. It is very nice to play games in 4K, but there's a lot of looking around on the screen, and also my streamer my streaming UI is just kind of insane. I have everything on one monitor. And it's crazy. It is crazy. So are you bringing this coffee snake lady, the stuff? Uh, hang on a second. Tell me the quests. Tell me the quests. Uh, stylish residence is pleasantly snake-free again. So uh, I would like to see a little bit more serotonin released from some of these side quests, I suppose. Although it is like a thing to do. And I do like the writing. So whoever's writing it. It's just like funny when a game doesn't take itself too seriously, but I do feel like it's just kind of clicking on stuff. It's a little bit like a word search that you're completing, you know? I was thinking that with like Andy Reid at the Super Bowl. Didn't it look like he was kind of completing a word search while the Super Bowl was happening, the way that he looks at the playbook? Send trains to the depot and remove the stop at the coffee plantation from the road. Okay, so the mountain is about to explode. And I do believe that this happens in the game like uh, I mean, I've never been on top of an exploding volcano, but it seems pretty ca like a pretty cash money place to be at that time, if I may describe it as such. Um, but let's go ahead and bulldoze, bulldoze boy. How would I describe that? Maybe the wrong choice of words. Hang on a second. We're going to, this is an objectively an annoying, um, I'm kind of killing my route here, but let's go ahead and just sell the train, which... A helicopter will just come in from the future and pick up the train, but we will bulldoze this. So, again, yeah, it's about to explode. Good, we have saved the train. Relocating the line. Get it away from the danger zone. Sorry, damage zone, but, you know, it's... It is that, it is that. And let's go ahead back over here into the... We don't have passengers. Cargo, terminus, station. Terminus means end. From the Latin... Terminus. True story, bruh. Um, t like terminal, like if you got to the 
train terminal. That means the train end. And that's what science says. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead over here. And nice, transport the coffee, coffee fruits to the factory. We already did that, but now we have to do it again because they ran out of ideas for the tutorial. Um, make the lady happy with providing... Wait a second, What? what is this? Wait, how is this a bonus It's task? training time. Happy four months. It's Morbin time. Ranazu, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, Zuri Cash Money. What would be a better way to say that? Four, 4K 144 hertz monitor. Ooh, this is a 4K 144 hertz monitor. It's actually a TV with a very good re refresh rate. Uh, although it is too nice for me, and I just use it in 60 hertz because my graphics card is not capable of that. Isn't that awkward when your technology, like, flip-flops on itself? It is too nice. I like the old kind of crappy monitors, to be totally honest with you, and I'm finding that the big monitors aren't perfect for everything, too. Is that what you're really going to, uh, coffee fruits with the factory? I will. Let's get to the end of this tutorial. Um... We need to reestablish the line. Sorry, hang on a second. I got caught up in my own stories right there. Line manager, so we need to go ahead and recreate this line. Let's just rebuild line one. Um, add station, so we have one, and then two. And we'll have to add another train in there as well. Good, and then let's go ahead to... Now, we can't assign the trains from that line. Train two, is it going on the line again? Let's just go ahead and find train two. Uh, where are you, train two? Oh, there it is. So it automatically started going for us, so great. It automatically went. It saw that the line existed again, and it was like, bet, I'm good. Uh, sorry, guys. People started saying the word bet to me this week, and I didn't know what it meant. I thought it was just a way to gamble, but apparently it means, like, yes. Why does bet mean yes? This was explained to me before, but I st still don't understand it. I personally think it's stupid. I think that there should just be one word for everything. But we have to, you know, people keep coming up with new tricks. Let's do this. We will buy one of these and then hang on a second. Train one actions set line to line one. There we go. Boop. Someone just boops the train out of the station. Oh, like you betcha or bet on it. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe I thought it was one of those horrible Gen Z terms like twerk that we were well that's not really a gen z term i suppose oh my gosh the rotation is making me dizzy i'm going to throw up it's just so nice to have analog sticks it's like 1960s old really people just say bet i mean i've heard you betcha before like you betcha i think I, my mom would say that to me when i was a kid like you betcha like hey mom is santa real you betcha <laughs> um don't question it. But, um, yeah, uh, I had to ask about that. I was like, why would you bring gambling into ask into telling me about Santa, you know? It's such a, it's such a range. Why would someone do that? Why would a parent try to get her child addicted to gambling when he simply wants to know about the nature of the reality of Santa Claus? So, you know, that's what's always come between me and mom. Sorry, I have a lot of unresolved childhood trauma. I'm just addressing in a very unhealthy way here on the internet. Um, hi, Mom, if you're watching. My parents do know that I have a channel, but I think they watched about one video with me. I have a couple of friends who watch my videos. I've told them that I have a channel, but uh, they watched it without me there. And honestly, that, that meant a lot. That meant a lot. I've gotten to the point in my life where I... You guys know my old career. I used to be a teacher. I've gotten to the point where I feel comfortable talking about what I do now, and it doesn't just feel like a weird hobby. <laughs> so it's always like, oh, here's my backstory. What's yours? <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. Okay, so we've got to do another 14 of those. Let's see if there's any more side quest stuff. I, I, I will say that there is some, like, there is some waiting around, but maybe that's just to be had in logistics games. Uh, it is a really ridiculously tight logistics simulation, though, which is why I'm like, ah, oh, like, I wish that there were just something that was a little bit more gameplay-y for me here. 
But also, that being said, I do play game uh, logistics games for a living, or like simulation games for a living. So there is that. So I often find that I just find myself playing roguelikes and roguelites in my off time. Okay, so woo! I do like how people clap for you at the end of every single part of the tutorial. Yeah, we could simplify the whole language to just one word, you know? If we didn't have so many needs and desires. So we can continue playing like a... Like just a schmuck. But I think I'm going to go uh, back. This island has satisfied me. I am... I am Slice. I'm quitting back to the main menu. Highlands and I oh my god, wow, what a rhyme. It's like Shakespeare wrote this, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Imagine me as a Robin Williams. No, I, I didn't have that. My first teaching position was a very, it was a very difficult situation logistically, so I struggled. Then when, I taught, when I taught high school, I was... You get, if you teach teach middle school, because you get your training wheels there, and then teach the more relatable ages. Male teachers do better with, uh, oh, wait a second, ugh, older groups. I just feel like I don't have the nurturing thing as much, you know what I mean? I, I did really enjoy teaching high school. That was good. So there would be another voice over here, except that I, again, I turned off the voice over. Because Twitch chat has silenced the narrator, but I think you were right to do that. Although, just look at this. I almost want them to add fighting into the game, because I feel as though if there were just alien invasions... Alien, I made that into a portmanteau. Wow. Alien invasions. If there were alien invasions in this game, it would be so cool. Can you just imagine, like, meteors? All they need to do is add Tsunami DLC. Now I'm requesting Tsunami... Um, or an update. Like, hey guys, we were just missing tsunamis and... Is this in the game, though? I haven't checked out the mods. If there is, then I will definitely be checking that out and like, oh, wait. Maybe that's because everything on YouTube kind of needs to be a spectacle. Um, ooh, here we go. Wow, um, speed limit. Oh, so there's a faster speed limit. A faster speed limit. Country roads! There we are. Okay, so, um, we are coming up to the modern times. 1880, getting very current. AOL is being invented now. Uh, producing steel, deliver coal, iron ore to the steelworks. So multiple inputs. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. We're going to go do some more things that are perhaps ill-advised. Let's go ahead and see if we can just bulldoze this road. And if not, then I'm going to immediately restart the tutorial. Oh, the road was just too big and mighty. That road is a thick boy. There we are. Okay, let's just do that because I think 80 kilometers per hour. Although I would think they would struggle to get the horse. You would need a horse with like 68 or 70 horsepower um, to, to get onto that road. Wow. Hang on a second. Truck station, truck unload stop, road depot. Modular truck station, truck on load time. Um, I think we're just doing truck stations again here. This is probably the most efficient way to do this. Let me just... Wait a second. I'm such a smooth brain. Hang on a second. Uh, coal... Uh, again, it doesn't even... It's not... So this tutorial I did struggle in slightly. Uh, there was one part that I just totally messed up. And I will need your help with. To do some <sighs> critical thinking, chat. The only flight is between the proletariat and the bourgeoisie. The bourgeoisie. Yes, I know everything about the bourgeoisie that I wrote in my notebook to study for the upcoming test. Sorry, I, I struggled a lot in history in high school. I couldn't write fast, so I they always want you to write like 40 words a minute in these tests. And I was just kind of a slow thinker. And whenever I think of it, I always think of just failing horribly. I think you get more into into history as you get into, like, economics in your adult life, though. You know what I mean? I mean, a lot of people, like, uh, I'll say this. I can't appreciate history as much, which is maybe why I struggle to enjoy 
stuff like logistics a little bit more. It's like it's not the math side of me. But uh, at PDXCon, which, as you guys know, I've done a considerable amount of stuff with Paradox. Like, there are some people who are enjoying, like, the merriment and gaiety of getting lost in historical stuff. I don't know. That is to say it was mainly for, like, history gamers. It's the only ever gaming convention I've been to, though. But there are a lot of passionate people behind these games. And I don't know. I just think that that deserves, that deserves talking about. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put all the haunts on this. Um, here we go. Road vehicle one, two. How many are? How many of them are there? There are nine. Unfortunately, I did not create ten, so we'll just do three, four, and five. Let's just do this because I'm never going to run out of money for the purpose of these things. Famous last words, but <laughs> I swear, guys, I would never ever run out of money. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that wouldn't happen to me. Here we go. So let's get uh, road vehicles six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Is there a way to just select all? I mean, there is that button up there. Well, whatever. Actions assigned to line, line two. Boop. Oh, I didn't have time going. Okay, so let's watch them all. Ooh, yeah, it's just throwing them up, pewing them out of the depot. Depot, depot. I've never actually heard this word pronounced again. No, I've, I've been using that joke. <laughs> Can't remember where I live. That's just my favorite thing to say whenever it is a, whenever there is a difficult word. That happens though. I mean, when you t especially when you teach kids, they just say words wrong. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This isn't gonna sound so great, but you start to decide which which battles you want to fight. Like, should I prevent them from saying this word wrong, or am I? Do I have the fight in left in me today? Is that what really matters in their education? <laughs> like, uh, if you ever read the Odyssey, you know how they say Telemachus? Telemachus, the character? That was the big one. <laughs> oh, God. Or what is a word that is widely mispronounced? Why doesn't anything come to mind? Okay, like, here's a word. Philosophized. No, this is even too much of a gamer move. Philosophized isn't a word. People think it's a word. It's philosophied. Because philosophy is a verb. I mean, philosophy is a noun, but to philosophy is... Actually, it's a verb. Uh, yeah, epitome, that's a good example. Epitome. <laughs> like, if kids just say epitome, you know, <laughs> it's all right. They'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so we're trying to get steal to Glasgow now. Um, let's go ahead and just build more of these things. Uh, glass cat. So, I think we can just do this with an unload stop. Industrial building. Yeah, let's see if this is going to work. Now I'm gonna have to get a little bit more big brain, so I will start thinking about the simulation. You know, I mean, to be fair, I've been in the easy part of this game, because I chose it to be that way, but... Um, again, I'm not really as good with logistics, so I'm like... Uh, I think it's, it's good that we're actually getting to this part of it, but now I will start to focus on the gaming. Uh, let's go from here to... Well, what if we just do the most direct route? Ah, now I am a thinking... Yeah, okay, I think the tunnel there is a bit excessive. We could have just gone over that, but why not? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Pokemon names. Yeah, I think e epitome. Hyper... Yeah, or hyperbole. Hyperbole. <laughs> I was speaking in hyperbole, guys. Ah, uh, okay, so here what do we have? Money, money, money. So there are different districts to cities. I personally think it's cool that the cities start to grow on their own. I hadn't seen that until we saw that in the last scenario. Um, but here we go. We're going to go to Glasgow next, and let's go ahead and get another line going. So let's create a new line. Um, so I guess we're going to go from... We can't go directly from the source. One thing I don't know for sure is, is there a way to get more granular with the, uh, like, selection here, or more specific. Um, line three. Okay, then let's make a lot of other horse-drawn carriages here. Five vehicles. Okay, so these are passenger ones, so this one will... Let's make a lot of these. Again, we're never gonna run out of money. I swear, we'll never run out of money. If we do run out of money, it would be very bad. In which case, we'll go ahead and play a sandbox game. But let's go ahead and 
put those on here. I'm just doing this because I want it to go appreciably fast. There we go. Okay, so there go like 20 men. Yes, we will break the steel. And let's go ahead and see, does it tell us what they're transporting? What have you got? Okay, so you're going there, you have, but you have no steel on you. Why are you going there? Does anyone have any steel on them? Production 27 out of, wait a second. Hey, Xylax, how you doing? Thank you very much for the sub. Do appreciate that. And Shlong, thank you very much for the sub. Do appreciate that from before. And Ranazu from before, too. Sorry, I, I don't know why I missed those. Thank you, Ranazu. We have reached an impasse. We now have perfect logistics. We have mastered the entire game, except now we are encountering a fluid body of fluid. So this, honestly, this part confuses me a little bit because we need to transport, uh, we're going to ultimately need to transport some whiskey into Glasgow, which we are in Europe because we are cultured. Uh, and I struggled to do this recently, so I'm going to need to get a little bit of your guys' help here looking at this. Um, because I am not very good at things, but we need to do a cargo harbor here. So just go ahead and watch closely to my actions, especially those of you who are gamers, or those of you who have played, uh, more open... I'm oh, sorry, um, Merchant Bird Fever. Sorry, I, I always think, like, FEVER! I think of that SNL skit with Christopher Walken, like, I got a FIFA, and it's for more, well, cowbell, but in this instance, a transportation. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think that would have, you know, like, rolled off the tongue as easily. The tongue of Christopher Walken. Rarely do I refer to the tongue of Christopher Walken, but in this one instance, I find myself here. Let's go ahead and buy this Wilhelm ship. The Wilhelm was a flush <laughs> deck ship. <laughs> Poop. Flush. I am mature. In support of King Wilhelm I of Württemberg, and is considered... <laughs> Why did I need to, like, take a break when I said Württemberg? <laughs> Just taking a break in the middle of the sentence. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and set a line here. New line. Now, I'm pretty sure that this boy does this. Wait a second. Steam up the harbor. The route budget ship sail between the port, port Ellen Harbor. Is this Port Ellen? Where is Port Ellen Harbor? Like Ellen DeGeneres Harbor? But she's just over there telling jokes? Ellen Page? Which Ellen? Port Ellen, Ellen Port. Ellen who is of a port. There we are. Uh, hang on a second. Steam up in the harbor, there we are. Okay, the ship is just being pooped out of the harbor. There we go. But just look at all of the detail of the ship. The mast. The fine length of it. Um, the, the, um, the big oar that this guy is just pushing. Oh, no, that's a rudder is what I meant to say. This, there's something wrong with this ship. It's be, could be like in a wormhole like Matthew McConaughey is about to pop out like Interstellar. Hang on a second. One month. We should probably build more of these. Hang on a second. Steam up in the harbor. Establish a route between the... Sh uh, I should probably pay attention here. Route and have the ship sail to the port of El port Ellen Harbor. So let's go ahead and see what are our routes here. Okay, because it's being stuck in there. Yep, sorry. I effed up. Uh, delete that line. Um, add station. Glasgow to Port Ellen. There we go. Okay, finally we got it working after one minute of being a confused boy. So there we go. The ship has sailed, literally and metaphorically. Um, every time that a ship sails, literally, it also sails metaphorically because a journey is being had as well as a ship that is actually sailing. Fun fact. Any other questions? Let's go ahead and buy like three or five or just... Just a lot more of these ships, more than we really need, um, because we have a lot of money. I am enjoying the ship's movement hither and thither. Let's go ahead, set line to line four. Oh my gosh, whoever knew that there was this much space in this. If the ships just go, then they come out of the port, and everything is fine. 
and there's no war. That ship is in another ship. Oh my gosh, look at this. Don't do that! Why am I enjoying this so much? Passenger, passenger station. Tracks to connect the stations. Okay, so we are trying to transport people from here to here. Relationships. Yeah, I, I did. I got an early start. I've actually been waking... Actually, I've been waking up in the mornings again. I never thought I would be a morning person. I just started... Uh, I started running a lot more lately. I've been running... Uh, uh, in my town. I enjoy it. I enjoy the cardiovascular and fitness and the sweating. I do. I sweat a lot. Like, <laughs> I used to be a food runner for work. Like, before I was, like, a waiter and after I was a busboy when I was a teenager. And my boss had this Irish accent and she was like, Rob, you're sweating on all of the food. <laughs> it's like, you're right. You are. That is correct. I'm, I'm a hard worker, though. <laughs> hard worker. Uh, I did sweat a lot. Why am I telling you stories about how much I sweat? I don't know. And just out of a pure desire to be self-deprecating, to keep your expectations low for the rest of the stream. I didn't get a job. I Everything I've said about my former careers has just been a lie. I'm lying right now. No, I... I, I wouldn't lie to you about my entire life story, would I? Hmm. Transporting people. Transport 20 people to ga uh, Glasgow. So one would think that once we have this, it's done. But how now? It is not done. We will build a new line. Build a new... We will do something with a new line. Uh, this is going to take a while, so let's go ahead and do this. And let's build multiple signals into this rail so that we can have trains going... Trains on trains on trains. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I'll accept this because there are a lot of sheep here that we need to click on. But yeah, we're we going to need another train yard. So again, the game is holding my hand less, which is a tutorial. And that is amazing, I think. Is that the train yard, like, here-ish? You know, I guess I could just do multiple tracks. Why didn't I do that? Hang on a second. Settings. I could have done that. Why didn't I do that? Well, that's not really the big thing we're going to have to do here. Yeah, you know what? Let's bulldoze. Let's let's do multiple tracks just because I'm smarter than I look. And uh, let's just try something new. Because otherwise, we're just going to do the same thing over and over again. And then we're going to hate each other. So let's go ahead and do passenger terminus station and... Put that over yonder. We're going to have to rebuild some of these. Is that connected? Hang on a second. No, it's barely not connected. It doesn't want to. It's like, remember when you were a kid and you resisted putting on a jacket? I don't know why I did that as a kid. My mom always wanted to put a, like, a huge jacket on me. Your mom probably did this. This is a typical mother-son dynamic. I don't want to put on the jacket, Mom! You can't make me! And, I don't know, I just, I enjoyed being cold and in pain. I don't know why I'm just psychoanalyzing myself throughout these streams. I have a lot of issues is what I'm trying to say, and I I, uh, have to go to therapy. So I'm just doing it online. Man, um... And I won't wear the jacket, Mom. I don't... I don't like that. Oh my gosh, look! The tunnel gets larger! <laughs> wow! Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there for a minute. Here we go, uh... Oh... Look at how satisfying that is. I love life. I love it every minute. Sorry, was that creepy? I got a little... How now, brown cow? Yes. Yay, yeah, verily. Hm. Tracks, tracks, and tracks, and tracks. 
I hope that they put in some like ridiculous voice, like, hey, the train is coming into the state. So I guess they kind of had that with the first guy. That was a good time, though. Back when we had that sultry narrator from before. Now, train depot. Here we go. Let's just build an excessive number of. Eh, uh, no, we could do this the right. I'll do it the right way. Gosh. Can I do one of these? Oh, wow. Oh, no. I wonder if I can assign which track to which they are, or if they just go off on their own. Okay, we are beginning experimentation mode. Science. Too much curvature. So picky. There we are. The soundtrack is quite good. I've not said anything about it, but it has kept everything moving along swimmingly as we've gone. Like a train, one might say. So we need to do passenger cars here. Let's do one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll do 30, 32 capacity is pretty good. And then I'll build one ridiculous one maybe later on. Although I don't want to clog up the entire line. Line five. Oh, wait, there is no line five. I'm so sorry I did that. Why did I do that? That was so, that was so stupid of me. Um, new, let's just make a totally new line. From this train boy. Okay, so it highlights the entire station. Like that. There we go. Move to the station closer to the... Oh! Move the station closer to the center of town. I suppose we could do that. So that it connects to more people and signals yes to... Okay, okay, I will do that. I will have to destroy- see, I didn't want to do that because it would destroy the entire town. I'm just like, sorry, I just have to destroy your house. See, I thought that the town would grow up around the station, but doesn't that- Look, they just built the same road again, the- These liars. Wait a second. Get rid of the town. No more town allowed here. There will be only a train station. But I suppose you're right. That's, aren't they doing that, uh, wouldn't that be immoral, though, to destroy people's houses? What if we played simulation games entirely in a moral way? I am morally perfect. I have never done anything wrong, actually. Here we are. Let's go ahead and put that there. Um, Noom. You guys want to do it the immoral way. What's wrong? Ah, but thank you, though. Sorry, I'm being facetious, but yes. Ben Pai, thank you very much for the idea. I did not know that that was a thing. Um, I thought that the town... I genuinely thought that the town just grows up around it. But it is quite cool to see that the town grows and grows and grows. And let's just destroy the entire world. You're... Are, you are valueless. Eliminate. Here we are. Okay. And we put in another modular station. There we are. Medular. I think it has something to do with Medusa. But I've, but I don't know. My limited experience of the English language is limited only to Greek tragedy, or myth. Medusa is not tragedy. Was there ever any literature on Medusa, or is she just like a known thing among Greeks? I don't know. I'm not Greek. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. So we have the trains. Maybe this is why it was taking me so long to get through the tutorial. Um, we aren't going to do any of the counting sheep. Uh, and then we will assign this to set line. Uh, and we just destroyed both of our lines. So let's just create line 7 to make it more confusing. Us. Never mind lines 5 and 6. Uh, no one asks about those anymore. Why are you asking so much about them? Please stop. And is the train coming out? Uh, as soon as we speed up time again. Yep, the train is coming out. Wow, look at it. It's a train. That is amazing. So let's go ahead and buy another vehicle. Which will be... Yes, that's right. Another train. I guess we should look at the uh, speed of these a little bit more. Uh, attractive effort. Loading speed. Okay, so some of them have better loading speed, I suppose. Emission, so some of them give off more emissions, but what is the speed? Top speed, 40. Oh, so I really should have been doing the faster trains then, I suppose. That would have been smarter of me. But can it lift as much? 
I suppose that since it's been invented later, it's a better train. Yeah, so let's just have multiple locomotives and have them compete it out. Um, no, we'll do that. Oh, this is quite good. You know, I now that I'm happy that I'm doing this on Twitch though, because it makes me less silly. I'm um, hanging a second. I'm just gonna turn off notifications because those have been on for quite a while. I think my thing got did it get utterly annihilated when Silax donated like a bazillion gift subs? I it will come back. <laughs> Not to be derogatory in any way. You, you were the nicest. You were the nicest boy, Silax. The nicest. Hang on a second. Um, buy for... Have I bought the train? I have not bought the train yet. Oh, I have X'd out of the game accidentally because, of course, I didn't use my mouse to do that. Here we are. Buy v vehicles. There we are. Buy. There we go. ding a -ling. Uh... Actions? There we go. And then we should probably go ahead and delete those other lines just not to confuse ourselves. Delete line. Yeah, so now we just awkwardly have line four, and then line seven. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Nope. Okay, um, we haven't had any, like, big errors yet, but there is quite a good way in the game's UI where it displays errors. Ooh, new vehicle available. Oh, that's kind of cool. So in 1882, we get another type of train available. So then that is, like, the rising through the ages. Wow. Uh, what is the issue here? This could be the signaling thing that it thinks it's not supposed to go. Okay, so then we will do, um... Hmm, I effed up here. Because this one is on the left side, but then where is the other train? It is also on the left side. Oh my gosh. Have you ever heard of road on the... You know, there's probably a way to do this that I didn't discover before a stream, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do this right now. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and just see if I can... Waypoints. Rerouting a line can be added to... Uh, passing trains use their horn. I don't know how those use yet. Because um, I'm really just good at doing the one-line trains. But let's see if we can just do it like this. So we've got that. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time working on my signaling. Being humble. Let's see if they go now. Hmm. No, the trains seem to have stopped. But, um, is the other one going? Yes, the other one is going. So our signals work, but they are just horribly ridiculous. Absurd and inefficient all at once. Because this train is stopping for its signal because it thinks that it's about to hit the other train. So, um, I have to go ahead and take care of this. Yes, we're going to, Maybe, ooh, a train roundabout is not a bad idea. Yes, that would solve all of the problems ever made. Okay, I didn't realize that you could be this big brain. I'm not doing my signals perfectly, but yeah, there's two-way transport, because as you try to get things better, I, I don't know what I did wrong. I seem to be doing my one-way signals wrong here. I will show you them so that you can inspect them. Oh, now this one is so nicely one-way, except that I'm trying to figure out how to get trains from one side to the other, because then there is signaling going on here, so there is some stuff, but I seem to have gotten it so that it is completely one-way. Um, but I've also finished off this mission, and I have, uh, I have messed up royally here. Although I did get the passengers from one place to the other and unlocked the next part of the tutorial, which I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with this. But yeah, there is more, like, line, uh, branching and variation than I thought. So that is there, although right now I happen to be too, too much of a smooth brain to figure that out. So I'm just going to, like, leave that. I know we probably could, but I'll probably be sitting here for an hour to figure out, like, five minutes worth of explanation. So I figure, let's get on to ships. We do need to deliver the whiskey now, so we need to deliver 25 whiskey to the commercial area of Glasgow. And I like whiskey, so we should do it. Um, so, plunge in the wonderful world of spirits. I'm going to go ahead and just look at the industries here. What is this? Yes, indeed. They be drinking there. So let's go ahead and let's start with the granular part of it. Um, I keep saying the word granular. Sorry. Bad habit. Um, where this? Where this? Okay, this here. So we need to drop off whiskey here so that people can get drunk. 
Uh, I believe that covers most of the drinking area. So we will put an unloading spot here on the corner. Where do the whiskey be coming from? Oh, wait a minute. No, that is a bus trans stop. Whoops, I messed up there. There are a couple of little things you could mess up here, but I don't want to destroy the entire neighborhood, so let's just refund that. Truck unload stop. There we go. Yes. Why is the building turning red? Why is there a red meter over the building? Will it blow up? The building got mad, and it decided it wanted the people out of it, so we had to get <laughs> we had to run. Uh, tram depot... Truck station, modular bus, tram station. Hmm. Okay, so the whiskey do be coming in here. Or around about here. And it is a connection to the white area there. As designated by, of course, the highlighting. Do we have transport vehicle stuff here? Uh, we do, actually. Actually, we do. So let's go ahead and buy more vehicles. Sorry, vehicles. There we are. Another word that I've only read and never had to pronounce. Three, four, five, six, seven, Gen eight, Z nine, loves ten, eating 11, booty 12. like car salesmen love inflicting trauma, no cap. I mean, uh, capital T truth there, Triple G. <laughs> Thank you very much for the 300 bits. I, uh, I, I like, uh, for the record, I have. I have nothing again. I am almost a Gen Z, to be fair. I'm like three years off of being a Gen Z. No cap. Wait a second. I can drop this off at Glasgow Port? What? Let's just put in more stops than we're supposed to, because I didn't think I could do that with this thing before. Okay, so they go all the way down to the street, and then they come back. And they go both ways. Can they go either way? So what happens when they get to the end there? Station types don't match. Oh, okay, so we have to get rid of this. Whoops, I just added it again. So let's just delete the whole line. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So they're supposed to collect the whiskey in the bus stop, and that was for some reason confusing me. Oh no, there's vehicles on the line already? Oh no, I sent all of the vehicles there. I forgot about that. Oh no, what a tragedy. Um, are they doing it right? Let's just go double check our line. Glasgow Port and George Street. In fact, they are not. Uh, I wish I could delete the line with vehicles on the line. Let's just see if we can change the line. So we don't want them going to Glasgow Port from George Street. We want them going to Glasgow Central to George Street. Ah, this is an improvement. You're a millennial if you're 35. I'm 28. I'm technically a millennial. I think of, I have a lot in common with Gen Z though. Uh, counting sheep. Although I think I'm, I think I'm millennial. I remember AOL. I remember barely the world before the internet. The world before memes. Some people don't remember the world before memes. Okay, so. Wait a second. The, hor the Hanses are moving in. Okay, so we are delivering whiskey. Here is two whiskey, even though it's not a lot of it. It's two. Oh, we are getting deliveries now. The whiskey comes into the port. The port pays $2,000 for two barrels of whiskey. While I think that is excessive, uh, it's, it's allowed. Then the whiskey barrels come into this piece of concrete, and then they get picked up by two horses, one barrel of whiskey for each horse. And then at the end of that, they go through the roads, and then they go to the truck stop, and then they get unloaded from the truck stop. Where is the truck stop? There it is. No, that's not it. There it is. And then they get unloaded there and pooped out into the stores, and then people drink the whiskey from the supply chain. Wow. I feel as though that is very cool. And for some reason, I was struggling to do that before. I don't know why, but because I had been trying to connect to port to uh, another place. Ooh, a fishery. Now we are venturing into uncharted territories. Let's go ahead and just do it um, with that off script. Build a cargo station at the fishery and use tracks to connect it to Glasgow. Uh, I'll allow it, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure, um... 
Yeah, as long as we're getting the cargo off there, we could just do that. Although my management of this railway has been regrettable. Um, let's just do it in a very scuffed way where it goes around it. Because I do need to finish this scenario. And I don't feel like counting the sheep. Although the sheep, they're just around. Hello there. This does remind me of the game. Remember when all those petting simulator, uh, simulator games were in vogue? Look, even birds flying in a V formation. Actual natural laws of physics. That seems like a very long path, though. Where, how could we get this train line over? Can we do it over water? Let's try to create something very beautiful and stupid. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, we have $9 million left. We are running dangerously low on money. I should probably lower the amount of time. Either that or I'll just run out of money and then I'll, I'll disappoint uh, my father. Every day I speak to my father about how disappointed he is about my stream. There we are. If only he would just accept me. I am lying. Yes, let's do this to try to destroy everyone's house. All the people who wanted fish in the first place, just screw them, you know? They'll move somewhere else and we will... <laughs> you want fish? How bad did you want fish? Uh, now that your livelihood is gone. Let's see if we can build over water and then run out of money. Can we, can I just do this? Is this, is this okay? Just to do that. Oh no, I don't have 14 million dollars. Oh well, let's just see what we do and then we'll run out of money. Uh, why do I, does it sound like the earth is just being destroyed every time I do that? I am objectively going to run out of money here. I think we can do one track and then we'll just give up. Yeah, let's just spend two million dollars. I think that's a great investment. Oh, we aren't even close to getting there now. Oh, no, we actually are going to run out of money. Can we have negative money, or will it end the tutorial? Oh, no! Ah, oh, what a... <sighs> what a buzzkill. That was going to be so beautiful. Wow. Can we just destroy everything else that we built before in order to make more money? Or does it just cost money? Oh, no, it costs even more money, so all of our mistakes have led to this. Well, that's the, that's the mission I was trying to do, and then I failed at. Um, it's a beautiful idea. Uh, now would be when I would send in a meteor. Yeah, I have to, I actually have to go back to the main menu now. Um, well, that is to say, let's, um, anyway, what I kind of wanted to do for this was just to show you guys a lot of the overview. I do like the campaign. Um, although I am now realizing that it is, it is somewhat challenging. Um, it is logistics. Uh, I, there is a challenge here designated mainly by the amount of money that you have to begin with. I had played about three or four hours, but I just sort of thought like, oh, I have unlimited money. But now it is, it, it is beginning to seem more like a puzzle to me, which I haven't played a, a puzzle type of game in a while. Um, although it is relaxing in that it is very relaxing is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a couple other things that this game has to offer, because if I were to do, a, like, a scenario of this, I probably wouldn't do a campaign. Oh, there are even seeds in it. Oh, let's just raise the amount of hilliness and the water to the maximum, and the forest, yes, in just everything high. Whatever this is. Three. No, let's make it a square. Very large. Let's see what this thing can generate, too. And we'll make it a tropical map, because why not start there? With just no land on it. Lots of islands. What the heck is this going to be? This is st starting to seem like uh, a YouTube challenge. Maybe maybe I would just steal my own idea right here. Yeah, this looks fine. Uh, we'll play that map. Whoops. Uh, oh, mods maps available. Oh, so you can play a custom map. I did not know that. There are so many things that I am learning. Was I supposed to reference any of these things? Once again, this is, um, uh, if you do feel like checking this out, please go ahead and click on my link, uh, in Twitch chat, which keeps going by or on YouTube on the description. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, I do appreciate it guys. Uh, we will go to, let's go to Asia and then let's just start in the, the time that we didn't play, uh, difficulty. We'll go easy because I just want to 
create stuff. I'll probably not go too far in this. I just want to see if we can get one plane in the air. Custom settings, uh, I'm not going to do. Industry density target, very high. Just, we ruined everything. Uh, four cargo types start. Though I am going to show you, or I hope you will see when I get into one of these open world scenarios, why I didn't do it like this for this thing. Because it's a lot at once. You should probably play through the campaign. It's kind of like getting overwhelmed by your first factory in Factorio. You know when you played Factorio for the first time and you thought you just need one of everything? And then it turned out you needed like infinite of everything so you had to keep restarting the game because you thought, well that will be enough. And then you, you played it again and you didn't have enough. And then you played it again and you said, well certainly that would be enough. And then you just cried. Man, this is making me want to play the logistics games again. I forgot that I was smart. Well, I'm not, but, you know. But only because there are really smart people who will comment on the videos and point out every flaw, and then some people who say really even smarter things. And then I just feel bad. So, it is a big world out there, is what I'm trying to say. Me thinks that it would be good to show you guys the um, sandbox right here, which this is a ridiculous world that I've spawned in. This is an island world sort of thing. Archipelago, peninsula, uh, volcano, mountain, hill, water type of deal. Uh, but honestly, this game is a massive sandbox. And if you wanted to get really complex here and just kind of five-headed you could create something I, I personally when I see this as a beginner I am intimidated uh, which is good because I enjoy being intimidated by games although it is scary which was why I decided to stick with the um, campaign stuff did you know that the ocean is only blue at the top and it's just a bunch of white cream underneath it anyway look at this we're in the middle of nowhere very good but I wanted to see if I could get at least one plane going. Although I find with these maps, they're so large. Now that we're in the year 2000. People be, people be going back home and entering onto their America Online accounts. Fantastic. Um, YouTube hasn't even been invented yet. It's 2000. It's a great time. I... I am confused though when I get to a map this big because there's just so many inputs and outputs. And the main idea here is that, where are we, city? This, I don't even know all of the resources. I think this is considered mechanics. I think that that's some sort of little Debbie cake which turns into a uh, wrench, obviously, if you've ever left one out on the counter for long enough, it, it does that. I don't know what that good, what is that good? Tools factory, so this goes from sawmill I don't know what they... Okay, so then they go from raw wood. I know that. That is a raw wood. If you've never seen wood, that's what it looks like. Then we go into some sort of plank thing. And then after that, that turns into a tool. So that we make all of our tools from wood. Um, but we do have raw resources and things like that. And then obviously when there's... Which forest... Okay, so then this is... It's not much of a forest. But then again, I did spawn in a world from nothing. Um... Here we have iron, what is the other one? The oil, uh, but we need to process all of these resources. So obviously you can start to see why this is a bit crazy to start here. So let's go see if we can find some basic good and we'll just try to do at least one thing because I would be happy if I got at least that. Why does this oddly remind me of playing Cartel Tycoon? I'm really getting that vibe right now. Sometimes we have multiple, we've already done one of these resource chains. Are all of the towns mismatched in their names? Yeah, we have like, <laughs> this looks vaguely, I don't know, Russian. Where did I die? Uh, what is that? Like Saudi? I'm just getting my linguistic amazing ignorance here. Quez, Quez, Quiznos, and this is China. Do the people on the streets have those names too? Kui Tao. Wait a minute, do they? No, everyone is horribly culturally mismatched. This is basically America, but if it were just scattered cities in Europe and there were never any blending. And Kraken Priest, thank you very much for the gift sub. Okay, so let's see if we can do something with a plane, just because I want planes happening. Or even if we just get passengers from one place to another. Maybe we could do that. 
one r runway. Uh, two runways for small and large passenger. Let's just try two small airports. Oh my gosh, that is huge. That's a small airport? Yeah, we're just gonna put the airport on the corner. How do I get the people out of this city? Let's just put it in the forest then. Oh, that's fine. I guess I could build a road. I've never heard of a road before. But does it have to connect to the city? Let's just put it right in the middle of the city. You know, yeah, we're kind of a weird city. We just like putting airports right next to it to kill everyone's property value. I did live right next to an airport though, a while back. They could be seen coming hither and thither. Collision, this was a horrible place to put an airport. I am now beginning to realize. Eh, they'll just get off on the road. Eh, just walk off the tracks, yeah, it'll be fine. How did they get? I have not done the airports yet, but I have to figure this out. Planes clipping the trees, nothing bad will happen. Yeah. Where are the fences on this? This is basically Cuba. Now let's just bring it up a few minutes. Few minutes, whatever. We'll just destroy these people's house. Oh, look! They can just barely bridge and get by from there to there. That's fine. I, I think that looks good. Collision? What are we colliding? I mean, we're clearly colliding with everything, but... Oh, this is... Come on, I can do that. I, I love these. <laughs> I love just questioning the game in these sorts of instances. Okay, here we go. Yes, that is fine. Yeah, that's the, that's the delivery. Have you ever tried to pick up somebody from the airport? It's just that. Uh, nobody's coming to this city anyway. There's it, actually it is quite large. Um, okay, so we have one of our passenger airports ready. I, this is my first time trying the airports. I had done the ships and the other transport types. I did. I was looking at some Steam reviews, and some people were like, "Oh, the airports are too simple." Um, but I suppose they are kind of like the end game. <laughs> we'll just slice this mountain in half. <laughs> uh, I love simulations. Look at that. Yeah, we'll just spend $100 million just to intimidate people with our airport. <laughs> Let's do that. I love the suggestions. There's something that's oddly cursed about this game. I mean, I know I was saying it before, but it's... This game knows... That we enjoy a good spectacle. I think I accidentally made a... Oh, that was a large airport. I should not have done that. Well, whatever. This is going to be my last construction. Okay, and then this country road connects here. There we go. Noise pollution. More like noise relaxation. This is the worst airport pickup, but okay. Okay, so that is there. And then let's create a path. We we learned from the tutorial what was happening. We'll go from this airport to... Oh my gosh, wow, it just goes overhead. And where is even the other airport that we created? Which is like 12 feet away, by the way. I lost track of the other airport. Where are we going? I have to go find that for a second. Don't lose track of that one. Don't lose track of it. There's a bridge there. A lot of this infrastructure has already been made up, to be fair. Oh, there it is. It's right next to the first airport. Let's go ahead and try. I, do, I don't disappoint with these airports. Oh my gosh. Wow. Someone just played the violin. First line. Create a line with at least two stops in a free game. Because I'd been doing the campaign before that. There we go. Okay, so this is... A good idea. Let's go ahead and build the plane... Do we need some sort of plane depot for this? Oh, I think we do. Let's go ahead and do this. Cargo airport. Uh, airport with up to... Cargo airport. No. Hmm. How do we... One second. Or maybe is it inbuilt with the rest of this? Yeah, by vehicles. Okay, so here we go. We need Boeing 737. What is just the most excessive thing we could do? Oh, no, we need a small one because of the stupid thing that we did. Let's just do a Boeing. Boeing 737. We'll just... Oh, no. We can afford only one because we ran out of money. Okay. All right. I should have given myself unlimited money. But there we are. Okay. There we go. So out it comes. Ooh. Follow the plane. 
I would like to do this. Look at that. Oh, then we have to wait at the terminal. Uh, nobody even wants to come. Freight train depot. It cost $111,000 to fly this plane. I know I'm probably misidentifying that, but where are we? Yeah, literally no one wants to get on the plane. Come on, get in! It's costing a hundred No, we didn't even fly the plane. It just cost $120,000 just to sit there. The pile is just eating donuts. It would be a real disappointment if the demand to fly from this city to the next one <laughs> were it high enough. Come on, everybody. Let's Well, let's artificially create demand by destroying the roads between them. Uh... Or even anywhere. Let's just isolate this town. See if we can somehow artificially create demand. Imagine if airlines did this. would be the most sinister business move. Airlines just started destroying roads. Planes. No passengers in them. They just started crashing down into roads. It was an act of, like, horrible business. Just because they wanted you to get on the plane. That would be immoral if they did that. Thank God I don't run an airline. <laughs> this is some guy at the meetings. I have an idea. You don't want to fly in our planes, eh? There we are. Okay, get in. I don't think that that worked. Oh no, everything is disconnected. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I did create the plane. I did create the plane. I just feel like such a disappointment. Um, I don't know. Well, anyway, there you have it. Um, <laughs> transport fever too. I I did struggle with the planes. Well, what else do we have? Boats. I think we got most of our other things in the the trains. We did have a little bit of a of the smooth brain there moment with the um with the signaling. But I th I think we got most things working for us that we wanted to. Um, that was just the one part that I hadn't done. But yeah, no. Um. I don't know, it, it's just bringing me back to all these logistics games that I've left for a while. And honestly, like, the city's skylines of logistics. Um, I think I had discovered this game first through, I want to say it was Nucrium, or I want to say it was Colonel Failure, um, who are some other YouTubers you guys could check out on this game. Um, I haven't watched, I remember I used to watch their, like, podcasting stuff. I, it was kind of hitting me as a, as a gamer. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend either of those channels. Um, but yeah, I think, um, what are your guys' closing thoughts on it? Um, do you feel like I gave you a decent overview? And again, like, thanks for coming out. And if you want to check it out and you want to help support me and you've enjoyed it, um, feel free to go ahead and click on the link in the chat um, and check it out if you want. Or if you are stuck on console. Thanks um, for awesome stream. But I thought it would be fun. Loved it. D. What the hell? There we go. Okay, so we have a map editor. The fact that we have a full map editor is crazy because we could just make anything. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just say I'm always looking for these kind of big open sandbox experiences here. So, I mean, with City Skylines 2 kind of being the big game um, on the radar over the next year, I do hope that it, it signals a return to these types of things like the um, like just the kind of open world simulations because now that I think of it we had had such a big roller coaster game and nostalgia run up over the last year I was thinking of doing stuff like open TTD um, but I don't know this has just kind of opened my mind to those possibilities because I'll probably be doing a lot of that stuff over the next few months my nostalgia run is kind of going dry hang on a second is that a, is that a horse what is that there's just a random bear can I speed up time yeah, the bear is just chilling. The bear doesn't even know what it is. This bear has nothing out there. Wait a minute. No, there are other bits of wildlife out here. I'm on PC. I mean, I'm playing with controller. The fact that I could do this with a controller is very fun. Uh, look at them go. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, yeah. What, what are your guys' closing thoughts on Transport Fever 2? I feel like I've pretty much put it all out there. Um, again, big thanks to um, big thanks to Naken for sponsoring this. Um, uh, once again, Transport Fever 2 is now available on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, S. And um, again, I would appreciate it if you guys clicked on the link um, and checked it out. 
um, if you are interested. Um, and, uh, yeah, oh, also, too, uh, this game was originally a PC game, so available in 2019, uh, or, you know, out on Steam in 2019. Again, through the ages. Um, big ba Brain Transport Simulator. I think we got a little bit more of the Big Brain aspect of it that I wasn't really aware of before the stream, so I'm glad I had a discovery. Um, but yes, once again, big release is the console version. And I don't know, I mean, I found it totally natural with the controls. So I think just as as a gamer, as a game reviewer, uh, I think, yeah, fantastic controls. I think it's very seamless um, and just high quality tutorials. I think there's enough campaign there. If you're not exactly into logistics games, but you feel like checking it out, I think it would be a good entry into the genre. Or if you're really into uh, logistics games and you just... Um, you want to play it on console? Why is there just a town here? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's what I have to say about that. Nice stream. Nice sponsor. Thanks again. Um, and yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Anyway, uh, we'll chat around for a minute and then uh, let's send somebody a raid. <laughs> 